Good morning and praise the Lord. Thank you for tuning in to Northampton Methodist Circuit YouTube channel. Your channel of your choice, particularly on a Sunday morning like today. Thank you for choosing to be with us on our 12th July 2020 on Action for Children Sunday Service. God bless you and I'm sure we all be blessed together. Shall we take a moment of prayer? As we gather for prayer this morning, let us think about others around our church, particularly the children and the young people. Let us think about those who are unwell in hospital, those grieving, those working alongside others to support the children work and the children ministry. They could be teachers in schools. They could be our Sunday school teachers. They could be welfare children officers in various departments in our government. Heavenly Father, are you there? And do you hear and answer every prayer that we make? Some say that heaven is far away, but I feel it's very close around me as I pray. Heavenly Father, I remember now something that Jesus told his disciples long ago. Suffer the children to come to me. Father, in prayer, I am coming now. To you we bring our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from the Gospel of Luke chapter 4, verses 16 to 21. And we are going to read New International Version. If you have a copy of your Bible, please join me so that we can read alongside each other. He went to Nazareth where he had been brought up and on a Sabbath day he went into the synagogue as was his custom. He stood up to read and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him and rolling it he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and the recovery of sight for the blind. He set the oppressed free to proclaim the ear of the Lord's favor. So he rolled up the scroll, gave it to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of them and everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began by saying, This day today, this scripture is fulfilled in your ear. In the Gospel of Luke, we are told something about Jesus' home. It is Nazareth where he grew up. It is Nazareth where he received synagogue basic training, call it education. Coronavirus has thrown all life into unprecedented crisis. Our service today is part of the action for children charity work to voice concern that affect childhood and childhood deprivation. Every child desires to grow in a safe environment for the sake of their social, mental and spiritual well-being. A good parenting and child fostering care is very critical for a balanced child life. So in Luke chapter 4 verse 18 it talks of good news to the poor, freedom for the prisoners and recovering of sight for the blind to set the oppressed free. According to Action for Children United Kingdom, many children around UK suffer from various form of abuse that affect the children's mental well-being. In Jeremiah chapter 22 verse 1 and 5 talks of learning to do just the right thing and rescuing those under various forms of oppression in life. Think of various forms of things that make people feel they are prisoners and captives of some kind. Think of various things that make people feel blinded and they can't see things as they ought to. 
think of the effect of sin in human society and as such declaration of the gospel of Christ to bring good news to the humanity is essentially necessary for that purpose. The gospel of Luke tells us the spirit is upon the church. The spirit of the Lord is upon believers, upon Christians. It is upon the social institutions in our society, such as family, schools, children welfare department, to be the voice of God in strengthening environment that help declaring freedom, declaring healing for the purpose of God. In the name of Christ, Action for Children is working to help our children get justice and enjoy their childhood without being denied. Opportunity to grow as children and make, make mistakes as children grow as children until they even fall in love when they later become adults. For example, in Luke chapter 2, verses 39 and 40, it gives us a summary statement describing Jesus' development from infancy at the age up to the age of 12. It says, When Joseph and Mary and Dan everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth, and the child grew and became strong. It was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. So for the life of Jesus, he experienced life in every way. And Mary and Joseph knew they were to be very instrumental in training and development of their child. Mary and Joseph ensured Jesus received all the necessary care and protection as a child requires in order to grow. Mary and Joseph trained Jesus as in the obedient of the word of God. So when children are raised in that kind of environment, they will be proud citizens later in life and people will be able to make decisions for themselves to serve God. And as I talked earlier, something fascinating about children is when children ask you anything as a parent, you'll be willing to give to them. Sometimes they ask even for a plane, that is, behold your wallet. You will confirm to them that daddy will be able to bring you a plane. Because you don't want your children to know that you have nothing to help them. Always daddy is always a rich daddy. Always mommy, his bag is always filled with goodies. Every day she comes home, there is something for the children to take. And as such, the gospel of Luke declares in verse 18, the Spirit of God is upon the church. It is upon believers. It is upon social institutions. The Spirit of the Lord is upon schools. The Spirit of the Lord is upon families. The Spirit of God is upon government. The Spirit of God is upon children welfare department. The Spirit of the Lord is upon everyone to be that voice of God in strengthening environment that help declaring freedom and healing for the people of God. During the lockdown, it has created opportunity for those who want to take advantage of children. Domestic violence at home during lockdown. Many children have suffered due to violence at home, bullying at home. Today's service is to help us to pray for those children who grow on very voluntary environment and later it's likely to affect their life in future. As a church, as Christians, as believers, we encourage each other to create a conducive, safe, and peaceful environment for children to enjoy their childhood from where they come from. Children for Action is there also to partner with us. And therefore, if you know any cases of our abuse, don't hesitate to report to talk to your pastor, to talk to your church leader, to talk to your school teacher, to talk to a safeguarding officer in your school. Let us pray. 
Lord, we thank you and pray for the work of action for children. May we also bring your love and care to the children around the world. Amen. Let us share the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as done in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive our trespasses as we trespass against those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation. Deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You now know that for each one of us, God has good plans for all of us. And as parents, as children, foster carers, Jesus, our friend, will always be with us and will never be alone on ourselves. So in a times of crisis, call upon me. And he says, how here, Isaiah 55. God bless you. Thank you for joining me in this channel. See you later. Bye.